Hey, it's Andrew Koch uh, playing Boom Beach. I wanted to do a little guide on resource production. I'm going to divide resource production into two main categories, active and passive. Let's talk about passive resource gathering. So passively, the main way to gather resources would be to uh, work on your base. So on your base you have a sawmill, a quarry, iron mine and residences. Residences produce gold. Let's look. So I have 3,000 gold per hour for the for that level 9. I have a level 10 here. I've upgraded and this is uh, a little higher. It's an extra 500. So if you look here there's a bonus there. A plus 2240. The reason there's a bonus is because I have some statues that boost that a masterpiece gold production and a masterpiece resource production. And the way you get those statues is you have to collect these things called fragments. You get seven fragments make an idol, seven shards make a guardian, and seven crystals make a masterpiece statue. So they're kind of random. When you uh, make a statue, you example the 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 green ones make uh, four production, actually five different production statues. Gold, wood, stone, and iron. And then you have a, a fifth, which means all, all resources. Now, you have a blue, which is for your buildings. So you can boost your building health and your building damage and the red is for boosting your troop damage and troop health so it makes your your troops stronger and then we have over here we have these dark fragments so the dark makes three different kinds of statues the first kind is gunboat energy second one would be resource reward and the third is, let's see here, oh, a power stone. Power. So you get, it allows you a chance to get more power stones. And the way you get power stones is you have a 2% chance of getting a, a stone from a building that gets destroyed when you attack, example, a base. And then when you destroy the headquarters, it's a much higher chance of getting a, a um, power stone. I think it's 25% chance. It's all or nothing. You don't receive any, any reward unless you destroy the headquarters. You have a timer. I think it's three minutes. If the timer runs out, you receive zero resources. So if you look over here on the upper left side, it shows the different resources you receive for this. You get green stones. You also get different resources. And if you look at the plus, it means I have a resource reward statue. The little blue number one is called an intel there, the blue uh, symbol. That's for a task force. We'll talk about that at another time. So let's talk about the active. So we're talking about active this is called active uh, resource gathering by attacking players. You destroy their player base. We have a non-player base. These little ones are non-player bases. The reward is much lower. Every time you destroy a player base, you receive also uh, those little medals here. The medals are called victory points. So that's how they do the matchmaking. Usually you're matched up with people with a, a similar amount of victory points. So I have 250 victory points, so I'm matched up with people plus or minus 20 or 30 victory points of that. And there's a, a third way to gather resources, which is a combination of passive and active. It's called resource bases. Resource bases are bases that you have to fight over. Other players have a chance of taking over these resource bases. I currently control 36 of my 37 resource bases, but at any moment I could be attacked. If you look over here daily, my resource bases are attacked and then I have to retake my resource bases. OK. 
Okay. And so the resource bases gather, this one gathers stone, 900 stone per hour. They are subject to statue bonuses. So there's another 900, 1800 stone, 900 iron, 580 iron. So each, each base is, uh, are unlocked through your radar. You, uh, what I'm working on is I need to, I need to get my radar level 19 so that I can unlock these uh, places under the under the map here the resource bases that are hidden and I need to upgrade my radar to find those and there are a few other ways to gather resources uh, twice a week Dr. Terror is an event on Wednesdays and Saturdays and the Dr. Terror is a, a 20 stage event and the rewards are pretty big so uh, I do those whenever possible usually make it to somewhere between 12 and 15 stages a week I clear uh, depending on how, how, how hard they are and that produces quite a bit of resources for me every week another way to gather resources is there's uh, when you see level 11 and you have a headquarters level six then you can join a task force if you do a google search under boom beach task force recruitment there's a form where you can uh, find out information about people that are you know looking looking for, to recruit and also you can post yourself up there and let people know that you're available and once you join a task force every 24 hours you have a, a you, your your team has a chance of attacking a base and it, once you destroy these four bases there's a core there that you have to destroy and once you destroy that then you receive a reward you receive a reward at the end of the 24 hours based on your level and the level of operation that your task force has just completed. And also uh, at seven Eastern Standard Time, you receive a boat called a resource. It's called a victory point. It's called a victory point reward boat. And there's different tiers. Example at at uh, 240 victory points, you receive a boat that gives you uh, three different choices. One of the choices could be, uh, let's see here, could be one of these uh, crystals. Sorry, life shards. Once you receive, uh, let's see, 300 victory points, you get the next tier is two shards, two random shards. I mean, there are other. There's three choices typically. It's not always a shard. It can be three of uh, any particular choice, like uh, wood, stone, gold, uh, or shard. So three different random choices. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. And if you have any comments or questions, uh, you know, please post them. And if you did like it, uh, please subscribe or uh, like the comment. Thank you. Have a great day.